At the Blue Spruce Dairy Farm in Vermont, milk is not the only thing that is produced here. The concept of cow power uh, at, at the electric utility started about five years ago. Um, and, and I have to admit, there were quite a few people that didn't believe retail customers would pay extra for electricity. In fact, most of the time you hear electric customers talking about, my bill's too high, I want my bill to be lower. So what we did was identify a way to have an anaerobic digester that will fuel a generator, produce energy that goes onto our grid, and our retail customers will buy that energy. Earl Odette shows us how the system works. So we're in the milking parlor here. We milk 1,000 cows twice a day. Uh, we have a, probably about 40,000 gallons of waste material a day between manure, wash down waters, um, and everything else. The waste from the cows is used to make methane gas to fuel electrical generators. The electrical power is then sent onto the grid. This program was developed around five years ago with the idea of connecting the electrical customer to farmers that wanted to provide renewable energy. The alley scraper runs non-stop. Cows will just step over them and it scrapes the floor. Each floor gets scraped about uh, every 40 minutes to keep the manure down so the cows are not so dirty, keeps the air fresher, and it goes up into the digester. A continuous flow of manure waste is pumped through underground pipes into the digester. So here I'm standing on top of the digester itself. It's a concrete box that's 14 feet deep uh, in the ground, insulated with an R value of about 25, and it's got 700,000 gallons of manure. It's set up to basically hold the manure for 21 days time to get the process going and pull all the methane out of it. Okay, right here is where the uh, methane is pulled off from the top of the digester. It goes up through this box, up in, and right into the generators where it gets burned. The two generators run continuously, providing electrical energy to the Central Vermont Public Service power grid for customers to use. The power coming out of the generators is measured by this meter here. This gives us the exact numbers that we need to know how much to pay the uh, Blue Spruce Farm every month for the energy they produce. The energy flows through this meter straight up the pole to a series of transformers where it then interconnects with our grid. From the digester, the flow of waste is squeezed to separate the solid material from the liquid, which is moved to a storage pond and used as fertilizer. The solid material is used for bedding for the cows and compost. Okay, right here we have um, the separated solids coming out of the digester. We um, sell some of it for compost. We compost some of it down. Uh, we use about 50% of what we make for bedding back underneath our cows. This farm produces in excess of 100,000 kilowatt hours a month. More energy than they can use on the farm. In fact, it's about twice as much energy as they could use on the farm. Producing over 100,000 kilowatt hours of energy would power about 200 average Vermont homes that use about 500 kilowatt hours a month. We live in Vermont, it's a beautiful state. These systems have the ability to preserve the environment and do some really good things for our global environment from the standpoint of greenhouse gases. So we found that to be more motivating and really didn't wait until the regulators told us we had to do something.